Hey everyone, here's another quick video today. In this latest build of Salient, I am now including Sublime Text. And a very, very nice it is too. Okay, it's proprietary, but if you'd rather have something like this than the Electron Bloat, that is Atom and VS Code, then this is a very good option. But what I want to highlight today is there is a, a theme I've included, a syntax highlighting theme I've included in Salient OS that is provided by Werner FP on GitHub, who actually develops a GTK theme called Shades of Grey and some variant uh, color styles with it, which I'm currently looking at and editing to include in Salient in the future because it's an extremely nice theme. It's just a little bit too light at the moment. So I need to do some editing there. But he also includes some app gadgets and it, within that are syntax highlighting themes. And so Sublime is one of them, along with Gedit, Pluma and Z. So the first thing we need to do is come to the tools menu in Sublime and install package, package control. And then you'll get a dialogue telling you that's successful. And then what you need to do then is come to preferences, choose theme, select adaptive, which is the dark border here. If I change that back to default, you get this horrible light stuff happening, which I don't like. So we go to the black and then we choose color scheme and choose shades of pastel. And that's it. That's now set. So if we open up, for example, uh, let's open up the aliases file and if I change the syntax to bash and there we go we have a beautiful shades of pastel syntax highlighting scheme now if I open up and say bash RC for example that will automatically syntax highlighting will be applied automatically to that so there we have it. There's a very simple way of installing a very nice theme, syntax highlighting theme for Sublime Text, um, which will give you much clarity over when you're editing source files and things like that. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much.